I have a few pictures on my phone, clinical pictures, and I'm gonna go step by step to show you exactly how you can create a content piece from four pictures on your phone and how you can narrate that so it's beneficial for the viewer, the potential patient, all right? So that's, you got the four pictures. They're in your phone, in your photo library. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Loom, okay? I'm just gonna go to Loom. I've downloaded Loom on my phone, right? So I'm just gonna go to Loom and I'm gonna open Loom up. Click, I've opened up Loom, okay? And inside of Loom, there's a button, there's a blue button kind of right there, okay? I know the camera blur, blurs a little bit. So there's a blue button right there. It's a little star, it's like kind of purple blue. And what it does, it's gonna open this thing here. It's gonna ask me, do you want to share your screen or your camera? I wanna share my screen. I wanna share my screen, right? So I'm gonna hit on screen, start recording. Now, this is really cool. I'm gonna be recording my screen, super cool, on my phone with audio. So it's kind of like a patient was standing over my shoulder and I'm just flipping through pictures on my phone, narrating a procedure. Many of you have done this share side. You're like, hey, look, um, Jennifer, we did this case. Look at this, boom. And if you haven't done that, you, it's really powerful, right? So look, so now I'm gonna say record the screen. And I'm also gonna say, uh, let's see, record screen, record screen. And then I'm gonna say microphone on, okay? So I'm gonna keep my mic on because I want them to hear me talking, all right? So, uh, and then I'm gonna hit start broadcast. And then I'm gonna narrate this case, this case with a, front, uh, a missing uh, incisor, missing front, lower front tooth. How am, I, how am I going to narrate that and talk through that with a potential patient that also has a missing front tooth or that's struggling with some of the pain points. So you're gonna hear me do that, right? So, so I'm gonna hit now, uh, record the screen and then I'm gonna hit microphone on and I'm gonna hit start broadcast. It's going to record my screen on my phone. So start broadcast. Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Ganatra. And I had a question for you. If you are struggling with a missing front tooth and it kind of looks like it does here, where you know you have a front tooth that's missing, maybe there's a part of the tooth that's in your gums, and you've been told that you're not a candidate for implants, or you've been told that you don't have enough bone there because you know you have all this kind of stuff going on with your gums, and you want to get it addressed. Maybe you want that space filled, and you're you know discom you're uncomfortable smiling, and you're just not sure if your teeth are strong enough then make sure you come see us because we can do a lot of this stuff in the practice. And situations like this can be easily resolved with the right treatment. So essentially over here, uh, one option could be to put uh, something that connects the two teeth together and fill that space. Or you could even do what we call a Maryland bridge with, where we don't have to cut the two teeth down and it just fills that space. Alternatively, you may be a, a candidate for a mini implant as well. So uh, just jump in, click the link and come and see us. Okay, now I'm gonna hit stop. And I know you guys couldn't see that on the screen here because I'm recording it on my phone, okay? So um, now what I've done, let me show you. Okay, so I've done a loom on this. I'm not using this as an ad because you can't use stuff like this as an ad. But let me show you how easy it was to create content. So if I go back to my Loom, if I go back to Loom, you're gonna see the thing that I just recorded on my screen. Hang in there, it'll all make sense. Um, here's my Loom, screen share, boom. I just recorded this one, okay? And I can rename this thing. Here we go, I'm gonna open it up. I just recorded this, okay? Here we go. Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Ganatra. And I had a question for you. If you are struggling with a missing front tooth 
And it kind of looks like it does here where, you know, you have a front tooth that's missing. Maybe there's a part of the tooth that's in your gums and you've been told that you're not a candidate for implants or you've been told that you don't have enough bone there because, you know, you have all this kind of stuff going on with your gums and you want to get it addressed. Maybe you want that space filled and you're, you know, discomfort, you're uncomfortable smiling. So basically, did you see what I just did? I just recorded pictures that are on my phone off a of loom. Now, could my narrative narrative have been a little bit better? Yes. Okay. Could have been like, hey, if you ever have a situation like this, there's three options that may be available to you. Here they are. Boom. That's it. Literally off my phone. Now, I can edit and cut things out and I can now take this video. Okay. I can download this video. Okay. I can download it right there. See where it says download. I can download this video and use a quick app to edit out pieces like this beginning piece right here. Right. I don't want this in there. And I can use something called InShot, which is a, an app on my phone to edit then and just cut that little piece out. But do you see how I just easily created content off of my phone and the pictures on my phone? Does, does everybody see that? I think that's an important thing to see. Now, some questions from Facebook ads. You can't use patient testimonials. Uh, yes and no. You cannot, you can use patient experiences where you're talking to the patient and you're just getting reactions. You can definitely use those. You cannot use and show pink and teeth. That's not going to work. Okay. Um, for Facebook, can we use patient? Okay. Yeah. So that it, it is allowed. Uh, testimonials from patients and experiences are allowed. You can't show teeth and dentition and all that stuff. Uh, but if you're sitting next to the patient, it's allowed. Remember, every piece of content you do create, there should be an outcome kind of thought process there. Well, I just created this. What's the outcome there? Well, I'm trying to get people in that want implants. And then my narrative on that one that I just shot should have been like, have you ever considered implants? Like, it, do you have a missing space on your front teeth? And you've been told you don't have enough bone. Well, there's something we can do in the office called mini implants. And most of the time you need half amount of less bone or X amount of bone, uh, you know, even less bone than you do on traditional implants. And the reason being is because the diameter of these implants is a lot thinner and you could be a candidate for these. So now you start talking about some of the benefits there. It's just a 30 second thing a one minute thing, but you're literally doing it off your phone where you have the screen, like you have the pictures on there and you're just narrating through it, right? That's it. The other option you also have is you just flipping through pictures on your phone and not saying anything and then stacking the audio into that later through an app called InShot, right? So you're gonna have InShot, you're just gonna literally scan through the pictures and then you're gonna do audio you're gonna do audio, you're gonna click uh, music on InShot and you're gonna you know, place the audio or your, your recording of your voice over those pictures.